She usually tells us where she's going. She'll be fine. Before the factory collapse, Mark believed you. Wouldn't have thought so much could happen to one family. To lose your brother, woman you love, the space of a year. Yeah, it's not fair. No. I'm sorry. You don't need me wallowing. No, no, it's good. Everybody's been so careful around me since it happened. This is different. She'll be fine. Another brew? Yeah. Uh, no. I'm needed out here. Are you sure we can get someone to cover for you? Uh, sure, sure. It's good to have someone to take my mind off things. Have you found her? No, this is regarding another matter. I was told your daughter Kate Connor was here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Kate Connor. We need to release the personal effects of Rana Habib, her next of kin. Um... Imran. Yes. He said he thought you should have them. Wait, her personal effects. That's what she had on it in the factory. That's right. Maybe our vows are in there. I didn't get to hear the rest of him. She can't remember. <laughs> Do you want me to open it? No, um. Wait, you're gonna wanna hear this. What is it? It's Rana's phone. They've only just returned it. Are you all right, love? Aiden's birthday, when she reckoned that Rana messaged her. Carla called her over 50 times. Look, listen. Still the voice of a cold-blooded murderer. 